exactly what you're about to see, which is fascinating, but it's about the backstory. Pierce Morgan is set to return to television next week, and his former, his first guest is former President Donald Trump. Morgan teased the interview with a very dramatic promotional video that appears to show Donald Trump storming off the set after being questioned about losing the 2020 election. Okay, Piers, I'm ready. A former president in denial. I'll be completely straight with you to your face. I think I'm a very honest man. Much more honest than you, actually. Really? Yeah. It was a free and fair election. You lost. Only a fool would think You it. think I'm a fool? I do now, yeah. With respect. Excuse me. Okay, with respect. The largest... The hard evidence. Excuse me. The most explosive interview of the year. I don't think you're real. This I really is I'm not like... Very dishonest. Just... Let's finish up the interview. Morgan versus... <laughs> <Trump>. <laughs> Oh my God! I got, this is this is how alternative his reality has become. Yeah. He's asked a question about reality, and his response says, "I don't believe you're real." Yeah, I don't. But what do? Who says that? I believe there was an extensive conversation about believe, a hole in one that he made as well. I don't. I don't believe Trump you're real. May not have formed. <laughs> I mean, my God, how do you so, how does Walter Mitty so encase himself in bubble wrap that when somebody presents him with, with a reality, he goes, I don't believe you're real. Well, what does that even mean? Sort of where we are, but Trump may have not stormed off, oh my as the video suggests. In mm. an audio recording obtained by NBC News from Trump's communications director, the two men cordially thanked each other uh. at the end of the interview. Uh, thank you very much. 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 All right. So, uh, so George Conway, why, why do we show you this? Why, why do we, why do, why do we go through all of this? Let's see the front page of the New York Post, George, because this is fascinating. New York Post above the fold. Trump versus Pierce. Donald storms out of explosive interview over stolen election claims. But does he? The Post is running. Uh, you know, I had all my because, of course, I don't know if you knew this, George, but the New York Post is the paper of record for Morning Joe. So I got all my yeah. alerts. It just started. They started streaming. And here's what's so fascinating about this, George. You will remember that Rupert Murdoch. I mean, Rupert's not one of these guys that, like, sticks around after the parade's moved on. He doesn't stick around with his arm around the defeated person. Hey, that's all right, buddy. We're going to stay with you. I mean, he, he is a guy who, after all, endorsed Tony Blair when he figured out Blair was going to win. The Murdochs are quietly, not so quietly, moving closer and closer to DeSantis. People close to them know that they're ready to throw it all behind Ron DeSantis. They're ready to move on to Trump. So even if this didn't go down the way the New York Post, the paper of record of Morning Joe, is saying <laughs> it went down, Come even on. if this didn't go down the way the, the, the promo suggests it did, it reveals a much bigger tell, and that is that the Murdochs are blindsiding Donald Trump. The parade is moving on. Yeah, they, they played a big, the Murdochs played a big role in creating this monster. Maybe, you know, I mean, hope we can hopefully hope that they'll, they'll try to destroy the monster now. Um, and it's just, it's just hilarious to watch and it's good television. So, so maybe, maybe this is, this is how Fox is going to get its ratings up uh, 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 beyond what's, uh, you know, in response to Trump's attacks on them. So I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> George, uh, you, you've been All a lawyer. Right. You've questioned people before in depositions. You've, you've been around the block once or twice. Have you ever had anybody respond to a question uh, by you that they didn't like by saying, I don't think you're real? I mean, I, <laughs> it shows you how bubble wrapped this, so, this guy is. He, he, not just he's, that he's a bubble, that he's bubble wrapped. He's a sociopath. I mean, he doesn't want to believe anything that he doesn't want to believe. And he's just going to, you know, that's yeah. why he can declare us everything fake and and he creates his own reality for himself. And so I, that, it's not actually not surprising that he says to, to peers, uh, I don't think you're real. Um, that's his way of saying everything I disagree with, everything I don't want to know about, everything I, 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 that, that offends me or hurts my ego is fake. And that's, that's Donald Trump. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's, in a that's nutshell. Trump.